everyone. I'm back with another haul. I did not get any um, video of the, me getting out of the dumpsters this time. Uh, some of this is from a couple days ago, and but most of it's from today. I didn't really get any action. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting to find anything at any of the dumpsters that I did find stuff at. So when I did find it, it was all that I found and I hadn't recorded. So uh, that's how it is. So uh, I am going to try to record. Like I said, when I do find stuff, I will try to record. Um, and like I said, I didn't find anything. I didn't think I was going to find anything. And then it was just like one little thing. So there was no point in going back and get my phone and like almost pretending to find it again. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so uh, I will just get right into it. The first thing you see is this uh, TV stand here. I am missing the doors. I do have the back. It's sitting right here. I have to put the back on, but I have to um, put the drawer on first. I am missing the doors, but my nephew wants it anyway, so I'll probably end up just giving it to him and telling him, you know, if he wants the doors, just get me the supplies I need and I can make doors for him. So, because he was, he was here when I uh, was putting it together because <laughs> it was just in pieces. And he's like, oh, I like that. He just got a new apartment. So, uh, he'll probably end up getting it and then, I'll, like I said, I'll make doors for him. But, so I went to the office supply store. Yes, I'm in my garage again. Hopefully it's still easy to see. And I found this little, like, uh, file rack. It was bent up. I just bent it back into shape. And then this like clipboard that has like a thing was in there I think this I mean it's pretty dirty so it looks like it was their personal thing but it's still in good shape still can be used so I grabbed that this I'm pretty sure was still new it was bent up but I just bent it back into shape it was just like this part here and then these were like squeezed together so I just bent them back and they're fine and there were three bags of these Ghirardelli dark chocolate sea salt caramel they are out of date but I'm sure they're still good there was a whole case of these Lindor uh, chocolates, which I love, love, love Lindor chocolates. These expired on the 30th of April, so I'm going to see if they're still good. I'll keep some for myself and then put some in that uh, little pantry when I go. And I found these. Oh, here, I'll, I'll get to these. But I found all these. There's like a whole case of these Green Mountain Mocha they're like coffee shots and these are all of this stuff is expired past date but I'm sure they're still good nope, my dog wanted to come in <laughs> and there so there's a whole case of those plus those two and then there was these Hershey's ones uh, like they're still sealed inside and everything like they're expired but I'm sure they're still good and then there was two of these five-hour energy drinks I am not an energy drink person. I don't drink Monsters or any of this stuff, but my sister-in-law is. But she's not a coffee drinker, so I'm not sure if she'll want any of those, but I'm sure she'll probably want these 5-Hour Energies. And then this came from the 5B store, uh, like 5 and under. It's like a half a case or so of whatchamacallits. These are expired as well. I say... August of 2020 so they're just barely expired so I'm sure they're still good my son loves these and my father-in-law loves these so I'll probably keep a couple for them and then um, put some of those in that little pantry it's been pretty cold here so I don't have to worry about any of this melting in there as long as it stays cold it's been like in the highs have been about mid 50s and then it's been I think tonight it's supposed to get down below freezing so like about 30 degrees or so uh, so, like I said, I don't have to worry about any of that melting. So, I went to the DG, and this is the one that's a little bit farther away. And uh, I grabbed a big old bag out of there, and then I realized that it was somebody's personal dump. <laughs> so, but there, it was weird because there was still stuff in there from the DG, like brand new in the package, but there was also stuff in there that was for sure personal items. Like, there was a bunch of board games in there that were missing all the pieces and stuff there were some old pillows in there uh, this lamp was in there it works I tried it out so I'm not sure it has a little dent on the side but it's a good working lamp and then like these baskets were in there so like there were still good usable items in there and like I said it's funny because 
a lot of this stuff come from the DG. So there's like a, a JoJo Siwa coloring book, some more crossword puzzles, oh. another coloring book, uh, word finds. And like this was in there. It's a lint roller for pets. It's like a, a big one and it's still brand new. And there's these, which obviously are DG. Uh, this little party cup. This uh, sponge, actually, I don't think this came from the DG, maybe, but I'm not sure. Oh, excuse me. Okay, sorry about that. There's a little bottle of vodka in there, which my sister-in-law will probably take that, too. She is a vodka lady. And there was a little USA sign. Um, a puzzle, which I'm going to see if all the pieces are there. I like doing puzzles. A pack of paper straws and some glow sticks. Oh, and a foot mask. See, all this stuff is brand new in the wrappers and came from that store, so I'm not sure. Oh, and this was in the bag as well. There was another jug that was about halfway full that had leaked all over the outside of it and then dried. <laughs> so it wasn't leaking in the bag, thankfully, so I could save all this stuff, but it had leaked all over itself. And it was probably less than half full, actually, so I'd ended up just tossing it. Uh, and then there was this, it's like a hanging banner thing. And it did say where this came from on there. What did it say? Meyer. Okay, that's not going to focus. Anyway, so it was kind of weird that there was some stuff that looked like it was DG in there and then other stuff that clearly was used. So I'm not sure. Maybe it was an employee that tossed it in there or something. Either way, I grabbed it. I got some usable stuff out of there. So it worked for me. I got in the truck and I realized that there was like two throw pillows in there and I realized that uh, the one was real dirty and had a an odor to it not like it was just you could tell it was used and I thought oh man I just grabbed a bag of somebody's trash <laughs> but there was still good stuff in there so I was pretty excited so I got that lamp that and this basket all from the DG oh there's two baskets there and neither one of the baskets are damaged at all so those are good and then I went to um, Sally Beauty I got there just before the dump truck actually there was a lady kind of stopped and looking at me so I uh, drove away and then when I went to go back, the garbage truck was there. But there's these uh, lip stains in there. And there's two of this color. And then like a darker red and a, a lighter pink. Which don't mind my nails. They're really bad right now. And then I got the, I don't even know what this is. A shimmer roller ball. I'm not sure. It's like powder inside of there. I thought it was like a lip gloss or something, but it's powder. So maybe it's an eyeshadow or something. And then this is a brow pencil or pen. And this uh, quick tan was in there. It's still good. And then I did manage to get another candle dumpster score. The lady drove by me again. This time I was head deep in the dumpster, so I didn't even have time to look up and wave her over. But you can tell she'd been doing her job. She There was a lot of um, bags like this that clearly had something in them that she ripped open and left the bag there so she was getting in I figure if one day a week I get the score then that's pretty nice and actually um, this stuff was buried under like the boxes and the recycling so I'm not sure that she even seen this bag uh, but I dug it out and I was so happy because I just got a new wallflower and I don't like the scent that I got um, I actually went into the store and bought it, but I don't like the scent that I got, and I had just returned it from a different one that wasn't working, so I didn't want to go back again. But these two here, you can see that one has a full one on it, and this one has a full one, well, mostly full as well, and those are like the pumpkin spice type scent. I wish that they said on them what they were. Uh, I think it's pumpkin apple or something like that, but it smells like fall. And these are good wallflowers. They just have to have the marker scrubbed off of them. Uh, that on the top is actually, I think, from it leaking from being in the bag. But they're still good wallflowers. I just got a new one, so I don't really need it. But I'll hold on to them for if I do. 
And then this mahogany teakwood was in there. Somebody must have got it and returned it, or maybe it's leaking. But it's still brand new. It has the cap on it. So I'll wipe it down and see if it is, in fact, leaking. And then this was in there. I did not see the top anywhere, but it's sleep lavender aromatherapy, which I'm pretty sure I gave my sister the last one I found of these. So I'll see if she liked it and um, give her that one as well. One thing I do like diving at this store is there's always a bag for if you do find anything, you can shove it in the bag. You don't have to worry about it. That bag was folded up in the same garbage bag as these. And then these were in there too, a whole roll of their garbage bags. So that's pretty handy. I love finding garbage bags in there. In the dumpster, they're not the best garbage bags, but they'll work. So yeah, not too shabby of a haul. It was actually quite a big one. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.